Morning everyone. Um, in the truck, we're going to head off to the thrift store. It's Wednesday. Since it's a sunny morning and it's like going to be 70 degrees today. So in the Northeast, I think we're finally getting into spring and we're heading out to see what we can find at the thrift store. Right here in the skirt section. Ooh. That's really cute. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. We're getting into it today. I'm bringing you another vintage thrift haul. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Betsy. We're going to do a vintage thrift haul. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with vintage t-shirts. I'm always on the lookout for vintage t-shirts, um, 80s, 90s, Y2K, and older. I like, you know, the 70s, the 60s, the 50s, all that good stuff. So let's take a look at some of the t-shirts that I found in my travels. Hey! I was stupid. <laughs> I picked this up. This is a Dave and Barry's label, and this is from the 90s. So you see the Dave and Barry's label there. All right. Dave and Barry's is probably known most for making a lot of university and college school sweatshirts and apparel, but they also did like corny little t shirts. A 90s graphic wolf t-shirt just like the graphic there on that one and that is an old fruit of a loom label from the 90s here's a really cute one little bunnies in a basket so cute and i believe this is an, a jersey's label and this is probably from the 90s also now i picked this up this is a nirvana t-shirt and it has a copyright mark of 19 and 92 on it you see that and I thought to myself hmm let's look at that label so I looked at the label in it and I I'm like this isn't a vintage label so this is like an M&Q gold label it is not a vintage 1992 Nirvana sweatshirt or t-shirt if it was it would be worth a lot of money this, however, is not. This is a reproduction t-shirt that was made probably in the 2000s somewhere. I don't exactly know the date. I'd have to do a little bit more research. But, you know, you go from like a $300 range to maybe a $25, $28 range. I like to pick up the mountain when I find them because the graphics on them are so great. This is from 2011, so not vintage yet. It is older, but it's not from like the 90s or anything. It's a great print on it, and they flip pretty fast. So here's a brand to look for. Look for the mountain when you're outsourcing. This is a 1980s, probably late 80s t-shirt. It is a single stitch. It's got butterflies on the front and on the back. Just a cute little vintage shirt there. I picked this one up. This is a promo 1989 Camels t-shirt. It's made in the USA. Um, it is a single stitch on it. Love this one. So this is a 90s um, Peanuts label. And it's like, what's it say on it? For the most huggable grandma. <laughs> and there is the Peanuts label on there. So that is from the 90s. Found this really amazing 80s. Um, Cocoa Beach, Florida. Hot bubblegum pink sweatshirt. 
80s label sweatshirt there. So there you go. Pretty cute, pretty cool. Nice oversized fit on that. Moving along, here's a shirt I picked up for 50 cents. I love the style of it with the quilting applique flowers on it. There is a little bit of staining on it and I haven't been able to get it off yet. So this probably would be a really good um, upcycle project to maybe do some dyeing on it, to just play around with it a little bit and get creative. Into denim pants or shorts. These are Bermuda length, the plaid is in, they are a denim, and this is from a brand called Absolutely No Jeans Authentic. So I don't know much about this brand other than this was probably a popular brand in the 90s. I don't really remember it. I believe plaid is popular right now. Tis the season for spring plaid. Here's a Pepe, I believe it's, you say Pepe, denim jacket. This is a men's jacket. It's got a nice kind of cropped length to it, which I really like. From the 90s, um, I believe this brand is out of the UK from London. I believe it was a popular brand in the 90s. And uh, denim, vintage denim, I definitely pick them up in jackets. I mean, you can upcycle this if you want to. More denim, picking up vintage denim right now for summer, you should definitely be looking into vintage shorts. That time of year, start getting your inventory built up if you haven't done so already. These are basic Lees from the 90s. Nice um, deep pockets in these and I like the wider legs. The wider legs works really well for my, my short stubby thick thighed legs. <laughs> Here is a pair of Riveted by Lee. These are carpenter jeans. See the carpenter there? Also with nice wide legs. Lighter wash. Pick those up. Here's a pair of 1960s denim pants. They were probably pants at one time. There's the label on them. And somebody cut them. So they made them into cutoffs. I think this is going to be a great pair to upcycle too. Like I could see putting some patches on the back pocket. Maybe some flowers would be really cute. I might just kind of like fray them a little bit more. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to sew up a hem on them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I just thought these were cheap. They were like 50 cents. So perfect to do an upcycling experiment with also. Here's a pair of 1970s. Let's see if I can stand back. You can see the wide flare on these bad girls. Look at those. I've never heard of this brand, but check the pockets out on them. So the pockets are really neat. This brand is called The Final Touch. I just like the detailing on the back pockets and the really wide flare bell bottom legs on these. Some more shorts. Here's a pair of 90s, probably late 80s. So these are like, they remind me of the movie Heathers, if you remember that movie. I think it was in 89 when that movie came out. And the girls would always wear these almost like trouser shorts, very academic very, uh, you know, dark academia. I can see this with tights, and I think the girls in the movie wore them with tights, and they had these cute little cropped um, plaid jackets they would go, and then they would go out and they would play croquet, right? I think if I remember, I have to watch that movie now again. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Cute little shorts, floral print on them, adorable from the 80s or 90s. Got that great wide leg again, that real comfortable fit. So I'm hoping this style really comes back in mainstream. Another pair of almost like trouser shorts. You got the pleating in the front. Great green color. I heard green is very, very on trend this year. I am so into skorts this year. Here's a pair of Bugle Boy skorts. This is from the 90s. Very super soft like chino fabric. Um, you have the button in the front and then the shorts underneath and then you can see it has the shorts in the back. And they also have that really nice relaxed fit to them. I think the key right now is just for shorts is just that whole relaxed fit. Vintage um, 90s tennis skirt. And this is not a skirt. It is actually like a tennis skirt. See there you go. 
just that whole streetwear vibe is what I um, was thinking when I picked this up. Now we're getting into some really adorable 1960s skorts. When I was at the Salvation Army on Wednesday, and they have the built-in shorts on them, and they are like a, a mini length, and they're just like absolutely adorable. So here's the one, and it has the stripes down, and it has a little front pocket on it. And then I found a pink pair. Same thing, same label. The label is a, it's a quick, a Q skirt by Leon Levin. So this is probably from the late 60s. It's got that mod look to it, but I'm gonna say it's kind of meant for more of a mature mod look and not a young mod look. This one's absolutely adorable. Look at the flowers on that. And then you have the zip pull down here on the very bottom and it does have the built-in shorts in it. And that one's adorable. Here's a really adorable 70s. This is a homemade skirt. It's kind of got the sailor look to it and the A-line on it. And it is also like a little wrap skirt. Here's a 1980s pleated floral skirt. And it also has the tie with it. Now I can just picture this with a really cute white blouse on top and then using the tie to make a nice little bow and then matching your bow with your skirt. I think that would look really adorable. Found this really great 1970s prairie skirt. My Goodwill. How adorable is that? Cute. A 1960s, probably, I would say more of a psychedelic, late 1960s. This is a handmade piece, but I love like the crop, the whole cropped fit to it. And then it has the layered sleeves on it, almost like butterfly sleeves with a back zipper. So that's an adorable little handmade top there. A prairie dress with a little ruffle down at the bottom button bodice yep it's like a three-fourth button on the bodice but with a nice leather belt I think would be a really a cute look we all know of Leslie Fay she's been around for decades here is a 1970s Leslie Fay and this is just a little sweater jacket great little sparkle in it little gold flex sparkle the button front and the tie waist just a nice little find there at my Salvation Army. Found this really great 1960s set. So this is like a wool set and then it has the little top to it and then it has the skirt underneath of here. I will probably put this away in a tote and put it in my back stock for the fall when the fall comes along. Also found a really great Pringles cashmere. There's the label in this really great mustard yellow color. This is probably from the 70s, just based on the colorway of it. A just neat little leather, vintage leather jacket um, by Durkee's Express. I don't know much about this label. I just like the fact that it's a vest and it's leather on it. So pick that one up. I'm also been really um, stopping to look at accessories. A lot of times when I'm not finding very good vintage out at the thrift stores, I start sourcing in other areas of the thrift store I might not give my full attention to every time that I'm there. So I start looking at purses and I start looking for belts and just some hard goods. I don't really focus my time there, but when I can't find clothing, then I kind of go back into those areas and look a little bit and dig a little bit deeper. So I've been finding some vintage belts. Here's a Western belt from the 70s. Nice little buckle on that. I also found the two that I'm wearing from the 70s. This really cool gold, um, it's almost like a linked belt that moves and then another gold and plastic squared belt. So I'm wearing those today. 
found um, some Mork and Mindy. <laughs> That's what I always think of when I see these rainbow suspenders. I always think of Mork and Mindy. Picked up a pair of vintage 70s Mork and Mindy suspenders. Found another cool leather western belt there. And it says cowhide on it. And picked up this really interesting Rolling Stones belt from 1980, I believe it's 1983. Yep, 1983. So pick that belt up. I think they were 99 cents. I think the Rolling Stones belt was $2.99, so that was a little bit higher for that. And my last hard good items I found, I picked up this probably Native American. I'm going to say it's kind of Southwestern is the flavor. It is not signed. It is handmade. So I believe this is probably like a tourist pot um, vase that when somebody was out visiting, they picked up when they were out sightseeing. So I found that at my Salvation Army a couple weeks ago. I just really liked it. And so I picked that up. I also picked up this guy <laughs> because who doesn't like a gnome? And his three little musical friends. <laughs> I had to pick them up because like who doesn't love a gnome, right? Gnome one. Gnome one doesn't love a gnome. So that's it. That's my thrift haul. See what you're doing. <laughs>